Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Karina, Living Lean Six Sigma, and we're finishing, hopefully, the last part of Airframe 2020 test questions, starting in section Aircraft Electrical Systems. Question. Certain transport aircraft use AC electrical power for all normal operation and battery battery furnished DC electrical power for standby emergency use. In aircraft of these type that operate no DC generators, the batteries are kept charging by, answer, rectifiers which use the aircraft's AC generator as a source of power. Question. The voltage in an AC transformer secondary that contains twice as many loops as the primary, the answer is greater and the amperage less than the primary. Question. If the positive field lead between a generator and a generator control panel breaks, and is shorted while the engine is running, a voltmeter connected to generator output would indicate, answer, residual voltage. Note, if the positive field lead between the generator and its control panel or voltage regulator breaks and the shortage ground uh, while the engine is running, the generator can produce only residual voltage. With both ends of the field at ground, potential there can be no field current. The only magnetic field for the armature winding to cut is that caused armature windings to cut is that caused by the permanent magnetism in the generator field frame. This is like poorly written here. Um, permanent magnetism in the field frame produces residual voltage which is somewhere between one and two volts. Question, what is a method used for restoring generator field residual magnetism? Answer, flash the fields. Question, the majority advantage of alternating current over direct current is the fact that its current and voltage can easily be increased or decreased? Answer, by means of transformer. By means of a transformer. Question, which of the following must be accomplished when installing an anti-collision light? Answer, install a switch independent of the position light switch. Question, the inductor type inverter output voltage is controlled by, answer, DC stator field current. Question, when using an ohmmeter to check the con continu continuity of a generator field coil, the coil should, answer, show very low resistance if it is a series field coil. Question, the strength of the core of an electromagnet depends upon the material from which it is constructed and which of the following? Answer, the number of turns of wire in the coil and the amount of current amperes passing through the coil. Amperes. Question. A voltage regulator controls generator voltage by changing the answer. Resistance of the generator field current. Question. The over voltage control automatically protects the generator system when excessive voltage is present by answer. Opening the shunt field circuit. Question. When DC generators are operated in parallel to supply power for a single load, their controls include an equalizer circuit to assure that all generators share the load equally. The equalizer circuit operates by, answer, increasing the output of the low generator and decreasing the output of the high generator until they are equal. Question. What is the maximum amount of time a circuit can be in open, in operation and still be an intermittent, intermittent duty circuit? Answer, two minutes. Question, 
The most common method of regulating the voltage output of a compound DC generator is to vary the answer, current flow, current flowing through the shunt field coils. Question, refer to the figure. Which of the batteries are connected to together incorrectly? Answer, oh boy. This one. Uh, question. Upon completion of the landing gear extension cycle, the green light illuminates and the red light remains lit. What is the probable cause? Answer. Short in the up limit switch. No, in order for the red light to remain on when the landing gear is down and locked, there must be a short in the up limit switch that keeps wire 19 electrically connected to wire 8. This keeps power supplied to the red light. Okay, this is the image. You might have to pause so you can see this. This one right here. Okay. Next question, if any one generator in a 24 volt DC system shows low voltage, the most likely cause is, answer, an out of adjustment voltage regulator. Question, how can the direction of a rotation of a DC electric motor be changed? Answer, reverse the electrical connections to either the field or armature windings. Question. Static inverters are electronic devices that change DC to AC with the answer, use of an oscillator. Question, aircraft which operate only AC generators as a primary source of electrical power normally provide current suitable for battery ch charging through the use of answer, a step down transformer and a rectifier. Question. During inspection of an anti-collision light insulation for a condition and proper operation, it should be determined that, answer, the anti-collision light can be operated independent, independently of the position light. Question. Major adjustments of equipment such as regulators, contactors, and inverters are best accomplished outside the airplane on test benches with necessary instruments and equipment. Adjustment procedures should be as outlined by, answer, the equipment manufacturer. Question, a battery generator system provides direct current. On installations requiring alternating currents from the battery generator system, it is necessary to have, answer, an inverter. An inverter, note, an inverter is a device that converts DC to AC. Question, an aircraft electrical circuit control relay is, answer, an electrically operated switch. Question, the purpose of a rectifier in an electric system is to change, answer, alternating current to direct current. Question, which of the ratio of turns between the primary coil windings and the secondary coil windings of a transformer designed to triple its input voltage? Answer, primary will have one third as many turns as its secondary. Question, in an AC circuit with no phase lead or lag, which is true? Answer, real power equals apparent power. Question, how are generators rated? Answer, ampers are rated at rated voltages. Question, how is a shunt wound DC generator connected? Answer, both fields are shunted across the armature. Question, the poles of a generator are laminated to, answer, reduce eddy current losses. 
Note, eddy current produce heat and are a source of power loss in the generator. Question, what is the frequency of an alternator dependent upon? Answer, RPM. Question, what is the generator rating and performance data located? Answer, stamped on the generator data plate. Question, residual voltage is a result of magnetism in the, answer, field shoes. That's a trick question. It's not in the windings, it's not in the armature, it's in the field shoes. Question, in troubleshooting an electrical circuit, if an ohm meter is properly connected across a circuit component and some value of resistance is read, Answer, the component has continuity and is not open. Question, CSD drive generators are usually cooled by, answer, oil spray. Question, a CSD unit drives a generator through the use of, answer, a variable hydraulic pump and hydraulic motor. Question, integrated drive generator, IDG, employ a type of high output AC generator that utilizes, answer, a brushless system to reduce current. Question, if an integrated drive generator, IDG, scavenge oil filter is contaminated with metal, you should, answer, remove and replace the IDG. Question, when necessary during operation, CSD disconnect is usually accomplished by, answer, a switch in the cockpit. Note, CSD is constant speed drive. Question, a CSD unit that is disconnected in flight due to a malfunction such as over temperature may be reconnected, answer, only on the ground by maintenance personnel. Only maintenance people can perform maintenance. <laughs> uh, next section, position and warning systems. Question, an anti-skid system is designed to, answer, sense the deceleration rate of every main landing gear wheel and release then reapply pressure at the slightly lower value when a skid is detected. Question, in a brake anti-skid system, when approaching skid is sensed, an electrical signal is sent to the skid control valve, which, answer, relieves the hydraulic pressure on the brake. Question, an anti-skid system is, answer, an electro-hydraulic system. Question, anti-skid brake systems are generally armed by, answer, a switch in the cockpit. Question, a typical takeoff warning indication system in addition to a throttle setting monitors the position of which of the following, answer, elevators, speed brakes, flaps, and stabilizer trim. Question, the primary purpose of a takeoff warning system is to alert the crew that a monitored flight control is not properly set prior to takeoff. The system is activated by, answer, a thrust lever. Question, true, false, one, two, number one. An airspeed indicator measures the differentials between pitot and static air pressure surrounding the aircraft at any moment of flight. Two, an airspeed indicator measures the differential between pitot and cabin air pressure at any moment of flight. Answer, number one is true, number two is false. Why number two is false. An airspeed indicator does not measure the difference between pitot pressure and cabin air pressure. Next question. 
An angle of attack detector operates from differential pressure when the airstream, answer, is not parallel to the true angle of attack of the aircraft. Question, true, false, one, two. Number one, when an airplane is slowed below approximately 20 miles per hour, the anti-skid system automatically deactivates to give the pilot full control of the brakes for maneuvering and parking. Two, an anti-skid system consists basically of three components, wheel speed sensor, control box, and control valves. Answer, both are true. Next question. In an anti-skid system, wheel skid is detected by, answer, an electric sen electrical sensor. Question, which of the following functions does a skid control system perform? Answer, normal skid control, fail safe protection, locked wheel skid control, and touchdown protection. Question, in the air with the anti-skid anti -skid armed, current cannot flow to the anti-skid control box because landing gear, answer, squat switch is on, or squat, squawk switch is open. Question, at what point of the landing operation does normal skid control perform its function? Answer, when wheels rotation deceleration indicates an imp impending skid. Question, true, false, one, two, number one. An anti-skid system is designed to apply enough force to operate just below the skid point. Number two, a warning lamp light in the cockpit when the anti-skid system is turned off or if there is a system failure? Answer, both are true. Question, when an airplane's primary flight control surfaces are set for a particular phase of flight, such as landing or takeoff, the corresponding control surface indicates system will show, answer, trim position. Question, the pneumatic read type install warning system installed in some light aircraft are is activated by answer negative air pressure question stall warning systems are generally designed to begin warning the pilot when a stall answer is imminent Refer to figure. What is the indication of the red landing gear position light under the following conditions? Aircraft on jacks, landing gear in transit, warning horns sounding. Answer, extinguished. Note, when the aircraft is on jacks, the gear safety switch is changed from is changed. The landing gear is in transit causing the position of the nose gear down switch and the down limit switch to be changed. The warning horn is sounding. Current is flowing from the 5 amp circuit breaker through wire number 6. The changed position of the nose gear down switch on sorry one or both of the throttle switches and the changed down limit switch to the horn. The landing gear has not yet reached its up and lock position, so the up limit switch is in the position shown. Until the, land, until the gear reaches its up and locked position, there is no power to the red landing gear position light, and the light remains extinguished. See photo. Pause if you have to. Same photo. Question, which repair should be made if the gear switch was placed in up position and the gear does not retract? Answer, replace electrical wire number 12. Next question, which of the following conditions is most likely to cause the landing gear warning signal to sound? Answer, 
landing gear not locked down, and throttle retarded. Question. Return to figure. Uh, refer to figure. What will illuminate the amber indicator light? Answer. Closing the nose, left and right wheel gear, full retracts, or switches. Pause if you have to. Okay. Same photo. Next question. What is the minimum circumstance that will cause the landing gear warning horn to indicate an unsafe condition? Answer. Any gear not down and locked and one throttle retarded. Refueling. Not sponsored, babe water. Next question. Where is the landing gear safety switch usually located? Answer, on the main gear shock strut. Question, what safety device is actuated by the compression and extension of a landing gear strut? Answer, ground safety switch, AKA squats switch. Question, which repair would require a landing gear retraction test? Answer, gear lockdown micro switch. Question, landing gear warning system usually provide which of the following indications? Answer, red light for unsafe gear, green light for gear down, no light for gear up. Question, in most modern hydraulically actuated landing gear systems, the order of gear and fairing door operations is controlled by, answer, sequence valves. Question, what landing gear warning device is are incorporated on retractable landing gear aircraft? Answer, a horn or other aureal <laughs> auditory devices and a red warning light. Next question, when a landing gear safety switch on a main gear strut closes at liftoff, which system is deactivated? Answer, anti-skid system. You don't need it anymore, you're in the air. Question, the rotor in an auto scene remote indicating system uses, answer, an electromagnet. Question, the basic difference between an auto scene and a magnesine indicating system is the, answer, rotor. Next question, the rotor in a magnesine remote indicating system uses, answer, a permanent magnet. Next question, micro switches are used primarily as limit switches to, answer, control electrical units automatically. Question, which of the following are some uses for a DC soul scene system Answer, indicates position of retractable landing gear, indicates cowl flaps or oil cooler door position, indicates fuel quantity, indicates position of wire, of wing flaps. Question. True, false, one, two, number one, DCL scene system is a widely used electrical method of indicating a remote mechanical movement or position. Two, a synchro type indicating system is an electrical system used for transmitting information from one point to another. Answer, both are true. Next section, ice and rain control systems. Question. Prior to an installation of a pneumatic surface bonded type de-icer boot, on the leading edge of the wing, you should, answer, remove all paint from the area to be covered by the de-icer boot. Note, the metal must be perfectly clean and the bonding material must be applied in strict accordance with instructions furnished by the makers of the de-icer boots. 
Question. Which of the following are found in laminated integral electrically heated windshield systems? Answer. Wait a second. Did I just mess up here? Nope, we're good. Uh, answer. Auto transformer, heat control relay, heat control toggle switch, indicating light. Why this is a trick question is they throw in a 24 volt DC power supply when it actually uses 115 volt AC power supply. Question. What is one check for proper operation of a pedostatic tube heater after replacement? Answer, ammeter reading. Question, what controls the inflation sequence in a pneumatic de-icer boot system? Answer, distributor valve. Question, what is the source of pressure for inflating de-icer boots on reciprocating engine aircraft? Answer, vein type pump. Question, which of the following regulates the vacuum of the air pump to hold the de-icing boots deflated when the pneumatic de-icing system is off? Answer, suction relief valve. Question, what may be used to clean de-icer boots? Answer, soap and water. Question, some aircraft are protected against airframe icing by heating the leading edge of the airfoil and intake ducts. When is this type of anti-ice system usually operated during flight? Answer, whenever icing conditions are first encountered or expected to occur. Question, which of the following indications occur during a normal operational check of a pneumatic de-icer system? Answer, fluctuating readings on the pressure gauge and relatively steady readings on the vacuum gauge. Question, what method is usually employed to control the temperature of an anti-icing system using the surface combustion heaters? Surface combustion heaters. Answer, thermocycling switches. Question, what is the purpose of the distributor valve in a de-icing system utilizing de-icer boots? Answer, to sequence the de-icer boots inflations systematically. System, sys, oh, symmetrically, I can't even read. Oh my God. Okay, question. What is the purpose of the oil separator in the pneumatic de-icing system? Answer, to protect the de-icer boot from oil deterioration. Question, where are the heating elements located on most aircraft with electrically heated windshields? Answer, Laminated in the glass. Question. Two possible sources of heat for the operation of a wing thermal anti-icing system are, answer, compressor bleed air and aircraft electrical systems. Question. What maintains normal windshield temperature control in an electrically heated windshield system? Answer. Thermistors. Question. Arcing in an electrically heated windshield panel usually indicates a breakdown in the answer. Conductive coating. Question. Which of the following connects vacuum to the de-icer de boots when the system is not in operation? To hold the boots tightly against the leading edge in flight. Answer. Distributor valve. Question, how do de-icer boots help remove ice accumulation? Answer, by breaking up the ice formations. Question, why are the tubes in de-icer boots alternately inflated? 
Answer, alternate inflation of de-icer boot tubes keep disturbance of the airflow to a minimum. Question, what system component aids in the prevention of carburetor icing? Answer, alcohol injection nozzle. Question, why should a chemical rain repellent not be used on a dry windshield? Answer, it will restrict visibility. Question, what is the principal characteristics of a windshield pneumatic rain removal system? Answer, an air blast forms a barrier that prevents raindrops from striking the windshield's surface. Note, so there's no windshield wipers. It's not talking about that. It's not talking about water clinging to the glass. Focus on forms a barrier that prevents raindrops from striking the windshield surface. Question, what mixture may be used as a de-icing fluid to remove frost from an aircraft surface? Answer, ethyl, glycol, and isopropyl alcohol. Question, which of the following is the best means to use when removing wet snow from an aircraft? Answer, a brush or a squeegee. Question, <laughs> What are three methods of anti-icing aircraft windshields? Answer, an electric heating element in the windshield, heated air circulation system, windshield wipers, and anti-icing fluid. Question, what icing conditions may occur when there is no visible moisture present? Answer, carburetor ice. Question, what should be used to melt ice in a turbine engine if the compressor is immobile because of ice? Answer, hot air. Question, what is used as a temperature sensing element in an electrically heated windshield? Answer, thermistor. Next section, fire protection. Fire protection systems. In what area of aircraft would you find a carbon monoxide detector? Answer, cabin and cockpit. Question, question, what occurs when a visual, visual smoke detector is activated? Answer, a lamp within the indicator illuminates automatically. Question, the types of fire extinguishing agents for aircraft interior fires are, answer, water, carbon dioxide, dry chemical, and halogenated hydrocarbons. Question, when aircraft samples contain carbon monoxide, portable carbon monoxide detectors containing yellow silica gel will turn which color? Answer, Green. Question, smoke detection instruments are classified by their method of, answer, detection. Question, smoke detectors that use a measurement of light transmissibility in, their, in the air are called, answer, photoelectrical devices. Question, a contaminated carbon monoxide portable test unit may be returned to service by answer, removing the indicating element and installing a new indicating element. element. Question, which fire detection system measures temperature rise compared to a reference temperature? Answer, thermocouple. Question, a carbon dioxide CO2 handheld fire extinguisher may be used on an electrical fire if the, answer, horn is non-metallic. Question, the proper fire extinguishing agent used on an aircraft brake fire is, answer, dry powdered chemical. <coughs> Excuse me. Question, 
Smoke in the cargo and or baggage compartment of an aircraft is commonly detected by which instrument? Answer, photoelectric cell. Question, light refraction smoke detectors are activated when the detector, answer, senses light reflected from smoke particles passing through a chamber. Question, why does the Fenwall fire detection system use spot detectors wired parallel between two separate circuits? Answer, a short may exist in either circuit without causing a false fire warning. Question, a fire extinguisher contain, container can be checked to determine its charge by, answer, weighing the container and its contents. Question, what is the color code for fire extinguisher lines? Answer, brown. Question, the most common cause of false fire warnings in continuous loop fire detection systems is, answer, dense kinks or crushed sensor sections. Question, a thermocouple in a fire detection system causes the warning system to operate because, answer, it generates a small current when heated. Question, the thermocouple fire warning system is activated by a, answer, rate of temperature rise. Question, when used in fire detection systems, having a single indicator light thermal switches are wired in, answer, parallel with each other and in series with the light. Another tricky question. They're trying to get you. Uh, question. Built-in aircraft fire extinguishing systems are ordinarily changed with, answer, halogenated hydrocarbon and nitrogen. Question. In reference to aircraft fire extinguishing systems, true, false, one, two, number one. During removal or installation, the terminals of a discharge cartridge should be grounded or shorted. Two, before connecting, a, before connecting cartridge terminals to the electrical systems, the system should be checked with a voltmeter to see that no voltage exists at the terminal connections. Answer, both are true. Question. What method is used to detect the thermal discharge of a built-in fire extinguisher system? Answer, a rupture of the red plastic disc in the thermal discharge line. Question, the thermal switches of a bimetallic thermal switch type fire detection single loop system are heat sensitive units that complete circuits at a certain temperature. They are connected in Answer, parallel with each other, but in series with the indicator light. Question, refer to figure. Using the chart, determine the temperature range for a fire extinguishing agent stored container with a pressure of 330 PSIG. Uh, yeah, that's the question. Uh, answer, 45 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, well, there we go. Question, refer to the same figure. Determine what pressure is acceptable for a fire extinguisher when the surrounding area temperature is 33 degrees Fahrenheit. Answer, 215 to 302 PSIG. Note, for this problem, you must interpolate uh, 33 degrees Fahrenheit is 0.3 of the way between 30 degrees and 40 degrees. Uh, 215 PSIG is 0.3 of the way between 209 and 230 PSIG. And 302 PSIG is 0.3 of the way between 295 and 317 PSIG. So at 33 degrees Fahrenheit, the acceptable pressure range is between 
215 and 302 PSIG. Question. On a periodic check of fire extinguisher containers, the pressure was not between minimum and maximum limits. What procedure should be followed? Answer. Replace the extinguisher container. Question. In some fire extinguishing systems, evidence that the system has been intentionally discharged is indicated by the absence of, answer, yellow disc on the side of the fuselage. Question. If a fire extinguisher cartridge is removed from a discharge valve, it should be, answer, used only on the original discharge valve assembly. Uh, note. HRD is high rate discharge, and it's usually referred to Freon containers. Question, which of the following are fire precautions which must be observed when working on an oxygen system? Answer, display no smoking placards. Two, uh, provide adequate firefighting equipment. Three, Keep all tools and oxygen servicing equipment free from oil or grease. Number four, avoid checking aircraft radio or electrical systems. All four are correct. Question, which fire extinguishing agent is considered to be the least toxic? Answer, okay. <laughs> Halon 1301, which is bro mo trifluoromethane bromo trifluoromethane question maintenance of fire detection systems include the answer replacement of damage sensing elements question a squib as used in a fire protection system is a answer Device for causing the fire extinguishing agent to be released. We made it. We made it. We made it. We made it. So this was the last part of airframe test questions. However, there is a oral and practical section. Please comment down below if you would like me to also read the oral and practical sec uh, section sections and post it um, to videos. I think I could get it in one go. Um, maybe two, no promises here, but thanks again for watching. I'm Karina, Living Lean Six Sigma, and I'll see you in the next test book.